Good morning, the Kakavan here back again. So right, but before I start, I just want I just want to say a a Eid Mubarak to my to my Muslim viewers. Right, so um, before I get onto my rant, I just want to quickly say uh, according, according to the BBC, which are reliable, they're saying um, uh, United back Ma Ma Manchester United back Jose Mourinho and the club aren't considering Zinedine Zidane uh, to replace uh, Mourinho. Hmm. If that's the case. If that's the case, where was the support in the summer then? Where, when, when Mourinho specifically stated he wanted a a, 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 a defender in, where, where was his backing? I generally don't understand. For me, it's a dreaded vote of confidence, and he'll be gone by Christmas, in my opinion. Right, I'm going to do a rant. Things need, things need, needed to be said. Don't care if I get a beast for it. I've even had people. I even had someone tell me this morning, why, why are you doing videos? You should stop doing them. I said, why should I? But anyway, right, so. Right. F first of all, who the fuck does Mina Rayola, Rayola think is? I know I did a video. I know I, know, I know I quickly did a video on him this morning, but I'm going to turn into my new one right now. Who the fuck does Mina Rayola think he is? That bloody pizza merchant. How the fuck? He, how the fuck? Fuck! Can he have a go at, at a United legend like Paul Paul Scholes? Look, I I I I disagree with a lot with a lot um, regarding what Paul Scholes uh, sometimes says. But for me, he, he was spot on about about Pogba. For me, Pogba was captain on Sunday. He should have set the example, not this. Oh, my attitude was wrong. Well, sorry, Paul. You were the fucking captain. You should you should have told your teammates to fucking buckle up their their fucking ideas ideas up instead of fucking hoofing it. You stupid twat. And why would I say sack your, sack your bloody insufferable prick of an agent, fucking mean out Iola as well while, while you're at it. If you love the club as you pr profusely, profusely claim to do, yeah, I believe that when I see it, you, you would do the right thing for this fucking club and sack your fucking agent, but no, you don't have to fucking keep him because you, you apparently want to join Barcelona. Well, if you want to join Barcelona, fuck off, adios, we'll, we'll get someone better in. Look, I rate Paul Pogba. He's world class. He's one of my favourite players, and I would be totally gutted that he would leave it for a second time after the first time around. But Paul Pogba has has to do the right thing for the club, right thing for the fans, because the fans need positivity right now. And the positive thing he would do right now is to sack his agent. Fact. But he won't do it because he was probably too pussy to do it. Come on, Paul. You're supposed to be an educated player. Do an ed educated decision for fucking. For fucking once, for fuck's sake. It's really annoying. I'm fed up with, with the negativity. Oh, and this pisses me off. Bloody Mata, Mata came out yesterday in his bloody blog. Oh, we must try hard. I'm, I'm paraphrasing here. Oh, we must try harder. We'll do right. We'll put things right in the next game. I'm fucking sorry. I've had this shit for the last fucking five years. You should have sorted your shit out in the fucking Brighton game on fucking Sunday. You stupid pile of twat. Look. I know Matt is probably one of the nicest players in, in in football, but for fuck's sake, stop this fucking shit! Regarding uh, defeat, defeat, defeat after defeat after defeat, say, oh, we must try better. We'll do well in the next game. We'll promise to do it right next time. Fuck off! Us United fans are sick to death of hearing the same fucking shit every fucking defeat. Fucking hell! Just stop this shit for fuck's sake. Honest to fucking God. Jesus Christ and the fucking bike. Jesus. And I swear to God, if we lose this person, I hear Matter or Lingard or whoever say, Oh, we'll, t we'll put it right next game. Oh, we must try harder. I will flip my fucking lead. Just shut the fuck up. Don't update your blogs. Don't update, don't update your social media. Just shut the fuck up for, for the rest of the week. Train hard, perform hard in training, and perform hard in the games. None of this, oh, we'll try hard. We'll, we'll put it right in the next, next game. Do you want to see fake United fans in, United fans that watch that shit in Brighton on Sunday? Want to hear that crap? <coughs> Excuse me, I had lemonade, but that's beside the point. My point is, like I said, do, do you think United fans, United fans that watch that crap in Brighton on, on Sunday want to hear that crap? No. They want to hear positivity. Do you want to see a positive performance and a, and a United win? We're not seeing that at the minute. We see the same shit, shit after shit, after shit, after shit, after shit performance every fucking week. 
And we get players like Master saying, wow, we'll try harder. We must do it right in the next game. We're going to be mad for the game against Spurs. Shut the fuck up. Don't talk to the fucking media and and don't talk on social media for a fucking week. That would be my fucking advice. We don't hear your fucking shitty words. They mean fuck all. Like your performance on Sunday meant fuck all. Jesus Christ, a fucking bike. Jesus. And, and another thing that pisses me off in general. Um, but the United, United fans celebrating the Liverpool goal because they've got uh, um, Salah, Firmino or Manny in the fantasy, fantasy team. I could give a rat's fucking ass. Where's the rivalry? Do you honestly think a Liverpool fan would, would have De Gea, Bailly, Lindelof, uh, Pogba, Fred, Matic, Pereira in their fan, 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 fantasy team? The answer would be no, they wouldn't. So why are United fans celebrating the Liverpool goal? Where's the fucking rivalry? Y- younger, fa- younger United fans don't don't understand the Liverpool rivalry at all, in my opinion. A doggy with that oh appreciating good football bollocks. Just piss off that shit. I've I've heard it before. It's waft. I I I've seen that shit before. Whatever. But anyway, I do, and that start about the here. Is it facing forty shot? Is it letting forty goals from twenty one shots in? I could give her a sass. De Gea, De Gea is the best goalkeeper in the world. Fact. Do not give me those three sweeper keeper merchants. Neuer, Edison and Allison. I'm sorry, he's better than them. He's better than them. Fact. Do not give me Old Black. He's pro- he's a good keeper, granted. But for me, David the Goats, aka David De Gea, is the best goalkeeper in the world. Imagine thinking otherwise. So yeah. I, just, I need to get that off my chest, to be honest, because I, I, I've, I've had enough of this club. I really have. Um, what was I going to say? Um, I was thinking last night I might stop doing videos after the Burnley game. Burnley game. I'm not, not too sure yet. I've got a lot of things on at the minute. But, uh, yeah, right, you can tweet me at Carrick Free Night. Subscribe to my channel, The Carrick Fan. Comment below, like the video. Adios.